Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 895. Hey, if you want to download this workbook 890 to 895, click on the link below the video. Hey, here we have a column of dates, and we want to validate so that any new date we enter has to be greater than or equal to any of the, any of the dates above. And we're going to do that with data validation. And we can use data validation custom. And when we violate the rule, we can get a message box to pop up and say, hey, we need to enter the proper date. Now we're going to use a true-false formula. And I'm going to build it in the cell first, see how it works, and then go put it into the dialog box. So here, every one of these cells needs to ask the question, Are the, am I bigger than all the ones above me? So I'm going to build the formula here. Am I the date greater than or equal to? And I'm going to use the max function. Now I need to look at all the ones above. So I'm going to click on A1 and Shift colon close parentheses. And then I lock this with the F4 key lock in the row reference. That's an expandable range now. So when I copy this down, right here, A1 to A1 went to A5, A6. And notice it's always looking at the ones above. These are all true. If I were to try and enter a date here for 1, it would give me a false. That false will trigger the data validation dialog box to give us an error message. True means it's allowed. False means it's not allowed. Now when we do uh, data validation custom, we're actually going to highlight this whole range, however far down you want. Um, open up the dialog box, and we have to build the formula from the point of view of that cell. So I'm actually going to copy this, because I've already done the hard work, right? Copy, highlight. That's a logical true-false formula. The data validation is data, data tools, data validation right there. Alt, D, L, tab, and then we want C for custom. And then there's our formula right there, Control V. It's as if. It's going to be in each one of these cells, right? But it's really not. It's stored in this dialog box in memory. And then here's our error message. I could say uh, not larger or equal to. I could say greater than or equal to dates above. And I'm not going to take time, but you can put a, a bigger message here, right? Click OK. So now when I come right here and type 4 slash 1 slash 2, 2012, there is our error message. The value enter is not valid. Oh no, here, please enter date greater than or equal to date above. And you could put out whatever message you want here. I'm going to say retry. I'm going to try 4 slash 4 slash 2012. That one should be allowed. 4 slash 5 slash 2012. All right, we'll see you next trip.